Welcome once again to the Aladino Show. Tonight, from the Greenwich Film Festival, second year. Say, Aladino, I have a problem with pronunciation. <laughs> it gets worse as I get older. We're here to enjoy the Greenwich International Film Festival, which is so exciting that it came to Greenwich finally. Little Greenwich, we're on the map. I, I'm probably the only actor living in town that grew up here. Oh, I'm thrilled to be here. We're really, really happy. Lonely Boys is our film. Uh, really happy to be a part of the festival. I'm so excited. The films that we got to judge in the social impact category were amazing. It was very, very hard to pick a winner. I wish everyone could win because they were all so great. You don't remember me from Billions, right? Yes, I do. Uh. Of course. How could I forget? <laughs> we are here with Aladino TV at the Greenwich Film Festival with three directors in one. Wow. What's the name of the movie? The, the name of the movie is called The Anthropologist, and it was the opening night film at the festival. And then they put us in museums, hopefully. <laughs> and hopefully I'll have those shoes on when they put me in that museum. Because yeah, look are. at those shoes! No, look at those no. shoes! To support Greenwich and the International Film Festival, they have so much going on and it's really exciting that they've brought this to our community. Yeah, the new band. Let's get a hand for the Columbia soccer team. Come on. What do you see on the direction that the music nowadays is taking? Oh, I think the music, music is always taking a direction of change. That's what happens. Uh, somebody younger hears the music before them and goes, that, that speaks to me, but I want to uh, also change it. I want to put my voice onto it. So inherently, just the nature of that process always makes it grow somewhere. And uh, the, the constant is that it should be honest. It should mean something. The, what makes music good isn't the uh, ability or the acuity of the player. It's really how they mean it. And if you can get an audience to connect with you, like a, a really great comedian, when you laugh at his joke, you go, I know what he means. A musician's doing the same thing. You want them to know, the audience to know what you mean, but by saying, singing something truthful or playing something truthful. me of uh, Jimmy Stewart, you know, and, and you've got a three-piece suit, a lot like him. Uh, Lonely Boys is a movie about uh, two friends who are both going through a uh, heartache uh, from breakups, and um, their friendship keeps them together through a, a three-day downward spiral. Why does the movie need three directors? That's a good question. We, we ask ourselves that question every day, in fact. Um, I, I write the film. Seth edits, and Jer Jeremy is the art director. So we all have our separate roles on the film. And you uh, wrote it? Yes, I co-wrote it with Dan. Dan. Dan, where are you when we need you? Dan, get over here. How excited are you being the second year in Greenwich Film Festival? We're so excited. I think the first year was, was a huge success and we've done um, the job that we were tasked to do, which is kind of taking the second year to the next level of acclaim. And we have 53 f films this year. We had 32 last year. Um, the opening night party is going to be um, tremendously fun and, and our gala and all of our, our panels. So we're really excited um, and we're so excited to bring this to this community. Doing an event on Saturday with uh, one of the singers from The Voice and Rock Angel at a listing um, in Old Greenwich. And then uh, we're doing an art house in Greenwich on 303 Millbank. So we're going to bring a bunch of artists and have a you know couple days of parties there. I'm here to support the Greenwich International Film Festival and in particular the film on the great photographer Harry Benson called Shoot First, mm -hmm. which is very fitting right now, particularly in the fact that Muhammad Ali passed away recently. And Harry Benson shot brilliant photographs of Ali. In fact, he, he shot the iconic image of Ali and the Beatles when Ali was training to fight Sonny Liston in Miami. 
The wow. one when he's hitting George, yeah, 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 you know? Yeah. I made a documentary a year ago about uh, the elephant poaching crisis. It's called Gardeners of Eden. So I know how hard it is to make a documentary, how hard it is to finish a documentary, how hard it is to get it in the festivals. I know every step of the way how hard it is. So I have so much respect for these filmmakers. And how excited are you having Kristen Davis here tonight? We're so excited. Uh, I love Kristen. I, she's one of those people who really kind of walks the walk and doesn't just talk the talk. And she's really used uh, the platform that uh, she's had because of her uh, acting and, and producing and directing um, to really make change in the world. And uh, those are the type of people that we really want to highlight and um, and kind of give a, give a voice to here. My name is Ron Cavalier, and I own an art gallery here in town. And we're going to have a special event for Harry Benson after we preview the film. Saturday evening and you guys are more than welcome to come. We hope you come. I think it's a beautifully put together film festival. It's 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 incredibly organized. There's a lot of good movies here. It's it's really like top class. It's like it's an A-list festival. Over the USA. We Americans were good at a lot of things, but soccer not really. <laughs> no, not yet. You can know how those shoes. <laughs> and, and we try so hard. We try so hard every year. Yeah, someday someday we'll get those shoes. Yeah, those are the colors? Oh, okay, okay, got it. Oh, right. Viva Colombia. Yeah.